Some patients will call for us to see them. They wish to eat this, this, this. We tell ourselves, if we know that that's their last meal they're going to take, you kind of want to do it properly for them before they go. So Australian man, he is actually on the life support, that means anytime he can go. His wife-to-be was here with him all this all, all the while and actually he, he really wanted to marry her. So they decided to have a wedding hole in the ICU. He didn't request for any food and that, but we end up telling ourselves that we, we should do something good. So we, we do a, 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 a small cocktail for them, we storm out a three-tier wedding cake with a nice wedding door and everything. And he was very happy with it. They unplugged him two days later. So he managed to have some time with the wife. Then after that, he go peacefully. It was only two months at that time. I, I didn't know much about how patients go through their cancer and all that. Uh, how, how they feel, how they can eat, or what, what makes them so no appetite or everything like that. But after learning from this patient that was unable to really talk, so angry about everything, I feel like it's not my job, this is not what I want. But after going back, I was told by my, my, my daughter, she was actually a nurse in the cancer ward. She explained to me how a cancer patient feels when they have ulcer in the throat after chemo and everything. Then it made me feel that, yeah, it's so painful to have, even ourselves getting an ulcer in the throat, it's so painful to eat and everything. What, what if you have a lot of ulcer in the throat? So that, that made me learn something that, how to see things in a patient way. What would they feel? How do they receive a bad news when the doctor tells them they are dying? How they lose appetite for, for these few days? Tell customer is so we understand what they like and dislike. For hospital, I have to understand the patient diet, what they can eat, what cannot eat. In the hotel is totally different because we are using some butter and some wine inside the, the dish. We were using some chicken powder or some other kind of bouillon to add in. For over here, I was adding the vegetable stock inside with adding additional cabbage sweet turnip inside to get the natural sweetness of the taste. Mostly we are using fresh ingredients and fresh meat. We don't use a frozen products for the patient. Food is for all, right? As a chef, we don't mind to share or cut our recipe because uh, we believe that uh, good food it to share with all. I met a patient, right? They like our food, so even ask a recipe from us. When he go back to cook, he even send a thank you notes to us. The dish is, I still remember, is a beef lentang. There are people who think that, okay, food is just part of the stay. It's like you go to a hotel, you order some food, you know, and you eat in the room. In a hospital, if you're here for a medical uh, reason, Food is actually very important. If, if, if this, this part of the food, part that you don't take properly, you don't have enough nutrition, how you want to recover? How you want to stand up to eat? How you want to eat and take the medicine when he says, take after food? And this statement is very, very important for us as a chef or as a cook. We must do it properly for their recovery.